Hi, and welcome to a quick review of the POS printer for WooCommerce. This is a printer that can print out your website orders created with WooCommerce. We'll cover the three steps required to set this up right after this. Hi, and welcome back. Let's take a look at how to set up our WooCommerce POS printer. The steps required are, step one, purchasing your printer and our WooCommerce plugin. Step two, setting up your printer. Step three, setting up your WooCommerce website. So without any further ado, let's get started. Step one, purchasing your printer and our WooCommerce plugin. So first of all, we need to visit the PrinterCo website. We're looking for the TPS 900 printer and a single license for the WooCommerce plugin. You can see the hardware specs here along with the paper roll size and that can be purchased from your local stationery store. So let's go ahead and add this to our cart. And you'll notice straight away, you need to be logged in in order to add items to your cart. So let's quickly register for an account Register here. For the API password, you'll need to make this up and keep a safe copy of this. You'll also receive an email copy of this. This password is for websites to connect with your Printer Co. account. You'll then use a printer ID to tell the website which printer to use. You will need a subscription for the printer to work. You have two options here. You can decide which is cheaper for you. There's a monthly subscription plan of seven pounds per printer. So if for example, you have two printers, then you can print a million orders and you will only be charged 14 pounds per month. The other plan is our commission plan, where a commission of half a percent will be taken from each live order you print. Whichever plan you choose, the option to change your plan will be available in your Printer Co. account after 12 months. Once you've registered, you'll need to check your email to activate your account. You'll receive an email that looks like this. This page will direct you to the store after 35 seconds. Let's head over to our inbox. You should receive three emails. So let's see what these are. The first email is a copy of your Printer Co. login account details. This will also include your API key and password. So again, keep these safe. The second email contains the activation link to log in and make purchases. So let's click this now to activate our account. You can see my password for this has been reset. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this and log in. Let's quickly check the last email that we received. This is an email invitation to subscribe to our newsletters. We send important updates for your printer and new features and integrations, so it's definitely worth signing up. Let's go back to our Printer Co. account, and once we're logged in, head back to the store and check out as usual. So let's add the TPS 900 printer, continue shopping, and we need to add the single license for the WooCommerce plugin. Although the plugin is free to download from the WordPress repository, you will need to purchase a license for it to work. But you can get your first license free by using the coupon code free plugin. So let's check out now. Checkout is now complete. To download the plugin, head over to your account and then go to Downloads. Let's download this now to later install on our WooCommerce site. Next, we'll move on to step two. Step two, printer setup. When you've received your printer, log in to your My Panel dashboard. Your login details are the ones that you initially set up on the registration page. You can find them in your inbox in the email labeled Important Printer Co. Account Details. 
Now let's add our printer to generate the printer ID and license key. There's two ways to do this. We can either go over here to printers and then add printer, or we can jump to our printer list and add printer from here. The printer list is a page that you will visit most often. You can check the connection status of all of your printers, change settings, and see all of your orders. You can find your serial number on the box of the printer. This will be labeled SN, or you can remove the back cover, remove the battery, and you'll find it just there. I'm just going to fill in the mandatory fields, but if you plan to service many printers, it's best to fill in all of the details, so that way you know which printer belongs to which store. The device manager password prevents unauthorized access to the printer settings. Don't forget to activate the printer and hit the submit button. Confirm that you're happy with the billing to start from today. We're now taken back to the printer list where we can see our printer ID. Let's generate our license key now. Under actions, click the edit button. Register license and click submit. Click anywhere in this row to find your license key. Let's log into our printer now. Open the Printer Co. app and enter the printer ID. And then the device manager password. This is the main screen for the printer where you can access several options. If you go back to your My Panel dashboard and refresh the page, you can see that your printer is now connected and you can also see which version of the app has been installed. Now that we have all of the information that we need, such as your API key, API password, printer ID, and license key, we can now move on to the last step. Step three, setting up your WooCommerce website. Log into your WooCommerce website and upload the downloaded plugin and activate it. After activation is complete, head over to the WooCommerce settings and then integration. So we've entered the full fields. We also have an online tutorial for this, which explains the purpose of each field. Let's copy the short code, create a new page, and then just paste in the short code. Publish. You'll need to copy the page address, head back to our plugin settings, and then paste this link in. The receipt header and footer is whatever you would like to enter. For the prepaid options, select all card or online payment options. Lastly, enter the delivery options that you have on your website, making sure that the text matches exactly. Let's place a test order now and see if the order prints. The order has been placed and it should come out of the printer within 30 seconds. I have my printer set up so that the receipt prints out automatically and I'll have to accept or reject the order. You can play around with the settings to make it more appropriate for your business. I'm just going to accept the order. That's done. If you go into your orders, you can see the accepted orders. Likewise, if you go back to your My Panel dashboard and refresh the page, there you can also see the accepted orders. You'll also notice when you accept the order, you get a little countdown timer to say how long you have left to prepare the order. A little while ago, I placed a test order and you can see that this order was late in getting dispatched. We're constantly integrating with other WordPress plugins, such as the Ready Restaurant Reservation, the Five Star Restaurant Reservation, and the Extra Fee plugin for WooCommerce. We also have an online tutorial on our website to show how you can update your customers from the website just as soon as an order has been processed. Thank you so much for watching this video. To support us, please give this video a like and subscribe. 
And if you need any support, just leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can also email support at printerco.net.